Hi guys. All right. Now's the best time to do this. <laughs> I've been running into so many technical problems because, you know, 2020 has got it out for me. Um, but I am like really excited. I've been working super hard to bring you guys the holiday photo gift workshop. Um, I designed this workshop as I was creating holiday gifts this year. Uh, for the last two years, I've been thinking about this workshop and really wanting to get my mind together and get all my thoughts together and put it into one workshop so that it's really easy to sit down and make your photo gifts. I've um, talked to so many people about it. Uh, a lot of people run into the issue of feeling overwhelmed by all of the options to choose from for photo gifts and then also how to get through all your photos and pick the ones that should go in the gifts and get it done in time for the holidays. So this workshop's really designed to make it easy. I've broken it down into the three steps. I wrote um, a blog, a whole new workshop blog basically, that's gonna break it down into three different days so that you don't have to get overwhelmed by sitting down and doing it all at once. If you're super motivated, you can do it. You can plow through, go for it. Um, but it's broken down into three different days. The first day is um, picking which project you're gonna make, um, which photo gift, is, is it gonna be a photo book, a calendar, holiday cards. Um, day two is choosing the photos to go into the gifts. And then day three is making the actual gifts. Um, on my blog, each day is broken down by um, that challenge. And I have different links to show you how to do things easier. So it's all organized and simple. Uh, today's IG Live is really to just kind of introduce you to that and to introduce you to me if you haven't met me, which I think everybody who follows me right now has. Um, so hi, I am so, so thankful to have you here with the Frame of Life Project. It's a passion project of mine um, created out of being a busy mama and really just wanting to celebrate um, the beauty and all these little moments that happen um, around, especially when things are so freaking crazy. And I swear, 2020 has really dealt a whopper, huh? <laughs> So um, if you're here, say hey, and I'll try to figure that out. Um, and let's just, just jump into it because this is going to live on here for a little bit and hopefully I can share a link to this IG Live later. Um, but first of all, I'm using Pinhole Press products this year. That is the company I've decided to go with. I have loved this company for years um, and I've really found that their products are durable and hold up to my children, and that's really important. They're also super cost effective um, for what they are. Like the print quality is like very, very, very good. And I'm a photographer. I print for clients all the time. I love the quality of this stuff. So this is what I use in my home. Okay. So let's jump in. Um, day one, what we're gonna do in the workshop is the first step is to download a handy dandy worksheet that I created. Um, this is the culprit that blew the power in my house just a few minutes ago because I was pumping the electric heater in my office and then hit the printer and then it, it, it like threw the power off. So hopefully my husband didn't lose his work. Um, but anyway, this is the worksheet that uh, you'll be able to download on my website. It's hard to see here um, live, but I will link it and show a picture um, later, but it basically breaks down the whole project um, into the five W's. You're gonna identify why. Why are you making this project? Who are you making it for? You're gonna list out all of the important people in your family that you'd like to create custom photo gifts for. You're gonna write down their names, make sure that they're spelled correctly. You're gonna look about um, at important dates, dates when this needs to get out. Um, on the blog, I've listed uh, Pinhole Press's current uh, production times. I want everybody to be mindful that COVID times are here and stuff could happen. So I am advising all of my clients to get things done as soon as possible to make sure nothing closes down and that the post office has enough time to deliver all of our lovely goodies to everybody. So that's an important date to write down. Other important dates are like anniversaries, birthdays, um, vacation times that you went on that you're gonna want to make photo gifts for or that you're gonna wanna search your photos um, to be able to find them. So you can look up dates like your daughter's birthday or the holidays like Thanksgiving last year so that you can start to identify in your camera roll where your pictures are. So that's when the important dates will be important on, um, for you to use on there. <laughs> so hey, uh, Yamini and Emmy, this is all good to see you guys. Ah! Um, also, we're going to be looking for um, 
on here it says where are your photos so just on this worksheet you're gonna use this to actually just mind dump where everything might be located my photos they're located on my phone mostly they're on my hard drives um, they're also some of them are on my camera still I also have photos um, in the cloud so I save everything backed up onto Dropbox and Google Photos so having a location of where they are you can use this little checkbox to quickly go and find that let me just make sure we don't go out <laughs> um, so we're also gonna look at what we're gonna create and the gifts that we're gonna create I'm gonna go through right now and show you just a few of my favorites because I've already made a bunch um, for this year and I find it helps to actually see things on the blog, I go through each of these categories of, uh, of products. So we got photo books, calendars, gift um, holiday cards, puzzles, labels, framed prints, board books, all the good top products. I've broken it down so that you're not overwhelmed by a million products in the world, but really the top products that are selling this year that are also ones that I've used and I love, and I break down how to do it. So let's just jump in. You want to see some things? Um, right now, the first one um, I have is calendars. Let's go for that. <laughs> so every year I make a holiday calendar um, for my family. I need are you there? Ah, sorry. <laughs> it went, I should have like, I have to fix a, fix a setting on my life. I'm learning. <laughs> but basically, holiday calendars are like my go-to gift every year. I like to pick out my favorite photo of every month and plop it into the, the calendar. Pinhole Press's calendars are awesome because they're super thick paper. They're a little bit um, smooth, so they're like just a nice finish. And your pen writing goes like really nicely on that, which I, I love pen writing that like sticks to the page and doesn't wipe off so that's important to me um the boxes on these this is the large wall calendar they're big enough to be able to write like some little information but not like too much but it's a good for like glancing across the room and being able to see it um through the workshop i go through how i pick my photos every month um i can give you the secret basically the way i like to do it is to pick a photo each month um, that was my favorite and that's something that I want to look back on later. So um, next January, I want to see what we were doing in January and see how much my daughter's grown. Um, my son was born in April, so it's it's going to be interesting next year to see like how that whole time has changed, you know, like how big he's gotten in that before last year, um, January through March, like it was just my daughter. So it's just really fun. So Going through the workshop, I will like checklist off how to do everything, but I just wanted to show you the product product itself. This is the large wall calendar, um, just to give you some reference. The next one I want to cover um, is the board books because they are simply my favorite thing for um, kiddos. They are super easy to carry, hold around. They don't hurt the little babies. They're, all the edges are rounded. They're soft. Um, the pages are made out of glossy um hard sorry i'm gonna have to keep touching it because i forgot to fix the setting where my phone turns off <laughs> so they're they're glossy hard covered um pages you can print photos on each of them and change the words this year that you're looking at is the sign language abc book and this is the new one that i created this year i love this book um i didn't think that my daughter uh willa who's almost four would be super interested in learning sign language at this age she's very good at speaking so all the time but she's really found um just like some delight in actually trying to do these letters with their hands and coordinating it. This book was really fun to make. This is the hardest thing I think that Pinhole Press has to make because of the customization that's required. Um, and it's really not that much, but the challenge is, is finding um, photos to match the letters. So um, for me, I take photos all the time and I, I do alphabet books all the time too. So I had most of these photos already ready. Um, you can get creative with what you choose for the words. So you can change F instead of it being, um, I don't know, food. You can change any word. So I chose family, put a family picture in. E instead of elephant, I just put eat and have a picture of my son eating. So you can really customize it as you wanna go and for what images you have. Um, if you don't end up making an alphabet photo book this year, but you want to in the future, it's really helpful to think about that in advance so that you can throughout the year be taking pictures that actually might fit into this. Um, for example, Z and X, um, those are hard ones. Like xylophone is still like, the only word that I can think of. Some people use Xmas for Christmas, um, that because you have a lot more photos. Um, but X was really like 
the one. So what I did in this to find this photo, because I, I couldn't find this right away, is I searched my photos using music um, in my my Google Photos app, I just like typed in the word music and it popped up a music class and it, it can identify musical instruments, which is a little creepy, but it did help me find the xylophone that I needed a picture of. So this is a cell phone picture. It comes out fine in these books when you print them. This is a, um, a real picture that I took on my real camera. Um, and then, you know, it's just fun. These are great books. Um, I go through, I have a link in the blog for, um, the board books all, going through all of the books that I have. So there are a bunch of them. So I, I really do love these. Um, I have the like a names and faces book, daddy and me book, and then um, Willa's first year where we go through like the months of her life and use the monthly photos in the books. Go through way more in depth. I have a video all about that too if you wanna see that a little bit more. Um, the other one that people are asking a lot about are the photo albums and I thought that that would be really helpful to show you because I've been making, um, I've been really trying to find a solution for family yearbooks every year. Um, I'm gonna have to keep hitting it, sorry. <laughs> but I have not been able to find the one that like works perfect for our family yet um, until now. And I freaking print with Pinhole Press all the time. So I was shocked that they were the ones that made the book that's the best. So this is their hardcover album. Um, I believe this was $179 when I got it. It is 90, 90 pages, I think 45 size, or 90 pages, 45 spreads. Yeah, that's right, I always get those confused even though I shouldn't, I should know that better as a photographer. Basically, they lay flat. Look at this like gutter light. It's so beautiful. The printing is intense. Like I love the quality of it. The pages are, they're thick, but they're not too thick. And they um, don't bend very easily. They're luster, so um, they're like a lustery matte though, actually. So they're, they're not too shiny, but they also, if something got on it, I think it would wipe off pretty easily. And it's been a really good way to print my images in my yearbook. Um, their software to create this on Pinhole Press was super easy. It's very limited, like limited in that it doesn't give you too many options, but it has a lot of options that are like perfect to keep it minimalist and not overwhelm you with really crazy design. It's just beautiful. It makes for a very, very simple, elegant yearbook. Um, you can print your wedding photos if you want to do a wedding album. You can print vacation photos or do a, um, a yearbook. That's um, definitely what I'm going to work on more in the new year um, now that I have found the one I love. It's 8.75 by 8.75 square and it's linen with a hardcover um, prints on the front. And I, I really love this book. Um, the other option is their soft cover book. This is much smaller. I went for their, I think this is the five by five soft cover book. And I just printed out our, um, our holiday, like Halloween costume stuff. So, um, the cool part about this book, it's the same design software that you use to make the hardcover book. So it's super easy to do these books. I've never found a soft cover book that lays flat and this is like not, it's the same paper that's in the hardcover book, except it's soft covered on the front. Um, and by soft, it's just, I mean, it's still pretty hard. <laughs> so it's not like a, a crinkly soft. It's just a really fun, much um, less expensive. It's not cheap. <laughs> it's, a, it's a less expensive option when you're looking for a quick um, album to pass around with just some funny memories. So I think that these are great for little brag books or they're great for just documenting. I mean, this year I did so many Halloween costumes that like we had enough for a book. Um, so that that's an option for you for vacations, birthdays, um, anniversaries, just a real fun book that you can throw as a nice stocking stuffer. Um, this is the soft cover book, and I think it's awesome. Um, the other, the only other book that I that was new to me this year was their sticker book, and Will has already gotten to this. <laughs> so um, I did print out a bunch of different stickers this year. In this, I thought that it was like one. There's there's twelve different pictures you can choose, and I thought it was going to be one page with twelve stickers, but in, it actually is twelve pages with twelve stickers. So kind of awesome because you get a lot of stickers and Willa has already gotten to all of them but you can choose one picture per page um or you can do different I mean I guess I think it's one picture per page the way it works out actually so it's really cool um they can draw in here it's all blank pages and then add the stickers I don't know where my dog is locked into but he is barking 
and I don't know where he went. <laughs> How is it going so far, guys? Does this make any sense? Like, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them. Um, I'm a rambling little mess, but I'm just trying to jump in at it. <laughs> um, the other thing I started getting are the, the framed prints. I wanted to check those out. Um, this is the 8x10 framed print. It is. It has a plexiglass front, so it's not glass, it's plastic. Um, so it does have a little bit of a glare. I think glass would too, but it's lightweight. It's got a nice, the backs on it are the little tabs to be able to hang it. Um, so it's better than Ikea, <laughs> which I have hanging behind me. Like and my, my house cleaner like knocked it so the prints are falling out, but we're, we're just gonna stand here and you won't notice. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this, I just really like the way the backs work because uh, the tabs are easy to change the photo out instead of having to get the um, screwdriver and pull the tabs up. I hate that. Um, it also has these pre like little wall hanger things on the back and it comes with the print inside of it already. So this is awesome because COVID, I'm not going to Target like I usually do or Home Goods as much as I want where I every year grab all my frames and then fill it with photos for family. So this is just neat to have a one click done. Um, it's super easy to customize. You just have to pick one picture, put it in. They do have a collage, collage frames available, which are kind of fun if you're into that. Um, so you can add a couple more pictures and letters or words to a frame. Um, I like to keep things simple, so I picked this one here, the single image with a mat. They have with or without mats and a bunch of different sizes. This is all covered in the workshop. So it's the workshop like is still just right on the blog. Um, it is frameoflifeproject.com backslash photo gift workshop. I'm gonna have all the links for that. Um, there is a link in my profile if you wanna go now and take a peek, but Hang with me because I like seeing you guys. <laughs> um, and then we'll dive in. And I'm going to be here all weekend for you if you want to just shoot me a DM. If you get stuck on anything or you have any questions or you want me to shoot you a little like, hey, this is how this works, I'm, I'm happy to help. Um, the other thing with these photo frames is you can get replacement prints. So they're single prints that are professional quality. Um, they, I think I, I printed the matte photos. Um, not super glary, but they, they come out great. Like they're four by six prints. They... Do not have anything on the back, so they're just plain black, um, no writing on the back. They seem a little bit nicer than going to Walgreens to do it. They definitely cost a little bit more. Um, I think they're about, I don't remember the cost. They come in packs of six or 12, I believe. And you can choose the um, size. So I think they do four by six, five by seven, and eight by 10, and maybe 11 by 14, but take a look. <laughs> but that's really fun way to be able to switch out the pictures once you do have the frame sets going on. Um, I've seen people do major gallery walls with these. They offer different sizes and then you can change your photos. Yeah, let me tap you before I get paused. Okay. Um, the other thing, I feel like 2020 is the year of the puzzle. Like, does anybody else think that? <laughs> so um, I'm not doing a ton, but I would love to do a ton of puzzles. I bought one for my daughter. Um, it is This is the 12 piece puzzle set. You can just pick one picture and then it makes it a puzzle. And it is super easy that way to create a custom photo gift. All you need is a picture and you're done. And you have a really fun activity to do. My daughter's four was able, she like jumped in and like was able to do this really quick. Just wanted to show you the puzzle pieces just so you, I always wanna see them in like real life. They're pretty big. Um, so they are like the same, I feel like they feel like the the hardcover book pages, but they're a little, I mean, they're on cardboard, so they're not as thick as the hard, they're thicker than the hard um, cover book, but they're really nice quality. It doesn't look like I can just peel the image off the sides. I feel like that happens with some um, really cheap puzzle makers, and this does not feel like that. These feel like very durable. They have um, a smooth finish that I think like drinks could come off of if it had to happen, <laughs> which always does seem to happen in my family. <laughs> but fun thing, easy for like toddlers to do. And I mean, I like to do it too. 12 pieces I can do in no time and I'm insured to be able to finish it. They also have um, 60 piece and 252 pieces. Um, I don't think my mom and my mom's watching, but I got this for them um, this year. It is just like, we love our grandparents. It's a 252 piece puzzle. I don't know how small they are. I haven't opened it because I'm going to gift it. <laughs> but I think that'll be fun for them. Um, they also make a names and faces uh, puzzle book. Or I guess it's, it's a puzzle and a book, but not really a book. 
Um, you can pair words with the, the people. So um, if your kid is starting to read a little bit more or you wanna start introducing more words to relate to the pictures, this is a good way to do that. Um, my daughter's still like a little bit young for this, so I've had to help her with it, but she does like to play it. She likes to pick out like, oh, that's me, where's, where's the willow word? And we'll find the, we'll match the name with the face and then put the puzzle together. And I can be like, hey, go to that purple piece and kind of work with her through that um, since she can't exactly read on her own. Um, but those are really fun and it's a good way to be able to see the faces of all those people you love that you're not able to see this year. So that's my way of getting creative with that. Um, and then this is a funny one. <laughs> I don't think I'm in this. Um, I tested these out this year because I was I saw them as a new product and I was like, this is cute. Um, these are finger puppets. Like they're like hard board like finger puppets. They're printed on both sides. So there's I think 24 pictures you can do. So if you're looking to print out a bunch of pictures and like have something silly to do with your toddler, this is a good one. Um, my baby likes looking at the faces too. Um, I think he's like intrigued by it and it's also a really yummy chew chew toy i'm i'm sure that's not how they intended it to be but it has worked out <laughs> to be that way um we can use this to talk about different things that we need to do in the day like we need to wear our mask when we're going out in public it's going to be rainy tomorrow how about we go spin or blow bubbles like we can i, I tried to pick like activities we could do with this um too but it's also just like a little fun pretend thing that we can play with um and then let's see what else I got. The memory game. <laughs> Are your kids into this? Like, I mean, I feel like this kind of game, this is a very substantial game in the end. There's 24 pieces. Um, so there's 12 different photos that you can put on it that you match. So two times 12 is 24 because I can do math now. That, that's about as far as I can go in my math. But you lay these out and your kids can do the traditional memory game where you flip it over and try to match the pictures. Um, my son, Charlie, he's like eight months almost. He's, he likes to play too, but really just eat. Um, and they've held up <laughs> so that I don't see any like folding. I mean, he hasn't been like gnawing on him too much, but like I haven't been afraid of him like grabbing it and playing with it because he likes to see the faces and all that stuff too. So fun game to play in the winter months coming up. Um, they have, I think, 12 different, 16 designs actually. Um, I linked that on the blog too. So you can see there's like llamas, there's animals. I think you can put your face in an animal and then um, there's elves and Santas. There's all sorts of fun little things you can do to make a fun stocking stuffer or holiday gift if you're looking for something to do with your kids. <laughs> That's what I'm always looking to do. <laughs> like find something that has like a dual purpose. So those are really fun and not hard to do. All you just need to do is pick the pictures and put them in. Um, and then the itty bitty book, um, this is just like, I wanted to show you just for size reference because I couldn't really see this on their website, like how small this is. Um, it's not big, but it's perfect for little hands. Um, and this just has like a couple pictures that I've taken for my business. So like you can do full bleed pages like this where they're the whole picture or you can do like, like panoramic um, or just smaller smaller photos, which is kind of neat. Um, they have a bunch of different pre-labeled templates. So there's, um, you can put do shapes, which I love that one. My daughter learned a lot of new shapes with her little face popping in the hole in the pictures of the shapes, um, different colors, animals, um, there, and you can customize them to anything you want. So you could tell any story you want in this book too. So I thought that was a really neat thing for like smaller kids or like a little gra uh, brag book for grandparents. Like if you got a new baby or kid every year, you want to just say, hey, here's what we've been up to and send a smaller soft cover book. This is the way to go. Um, their holiday cards are pretty funny this year. We did a We Slayed 2020. I don't know if this is backwards to you. Um, holiday card, one picture. You can do a collage of pictures. You can filter all of their holiday cards by how many photos you have. Um, and then there's room to create whatever writing you want on the back. They, they seem pretty customizable, which I thought was neat. Um, but also not overwhelming in the amount of options, which is important right now, because I feel like overwhelm just hits really fast. So the less options you can have, like the better. Um, that's what using that worksheet I've created is really gonna help you with. If you can really tailor down what your, your goals are, you can focus on picking pictures to only fit the products that you wanna make that are fitting the goals that you wanna accomplish. So it's really just trying to make this easier for you without feeling like, 
Kira, you're showing me all these products. I don't know what to do. Just go with what fits your life and what you feel best about making. Um, I'm only going to show you a couple more things. This is... <laughs> I don't like to drink. <laughs> this is their custom um, wine label makers. Um, I made one just to try it out. This just says, just in case 2021 isn't so great. Um, and my son's making a silly face on it. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I probably, if I was printing these again, I would choose a darker image. This is like a little light and it, the highlights got blown out and I'm a it, it just bothers me a little bit and it didn't lay exactly as flat as I wanted it to. Um, and I, if I was really going to be working hard, I would take the labels off before I gifted it. But that's my like two cents on these things. But they're they're kind of cute and fun. They make them for beer bottles too. So you can do um, wine, beer, and champagne, I believe. So it's a fun little fun thing. Um, and then their address labels, we moved. So you can put these on gifts. You can use a photo and then your address. Or you can just put them on gifts as like, this is your name. And like customize it that way. So I thought this was a fun little add-on for our holiday cards um yeah so that's like the basic overview of like the products that we have there's a few more that I've linked on the on the blog that you can take a peek at it's really bro broken down to be easy guys I really want it to not be overwhelming for you um I encourage you to take it one step at a time and not try to do everything all at once like don't dive into your photos first either like really just sit down figure out your plan download the worksheet it's free just figure out your plan then dive into the blog the day one is going to walk you through all of the products i have a guide on the top products for 2020 you can click on each one individually that really like speaks to you don't go reading about ones that you don't care about so like i just don't want you to waste your time just really focus your efforts set a timer and like just sit down and get to it um my biggest that's like been the thing that's really made things happen is like I have a very limited amount of time between when I have to go pick up the kids and when they're home and like taking over all my time. So I really have set timers in my life and I say I have an hour to figure out what product I'm going to make. That's it, period. And I can do all the research I want in that time. But after the end of an hour, like you got to pick the product and move on. And let me tell you, there's going to be plenty of products for all the years, and hopefully we're all around for a lot more years. So you don't have to be perfect here. You just need to get done. <laughs> so just get working on it. I'm here if you have any questions at all. I'm so glad for you guys who've hung out this whole time. Um, this is really fun. So thank you, and I'll post a bunch more now just like with links and stuff. Okay, bye.